let's go and select our welcome view command N to create a new Coco touch class this is going to be subclass of UI view controller and it's going to be called finish registration view controller and then click create and what I want to do is select the welcome and finish registration view controller files right click and create new group from uh, with folder and this is going to be my login view folder okay something didn't work out the items didn't get into the folder so let's put them manually so moving to our main storyboard I'm going to set the class that controls this to be our finish registration view controller and now we can open our assistant editor and I'm going to close all these panels so we have more space to work let's just get rid of all the unnecessary code and we have left with our view did load function on top I'm putting a mark IB outlets and we're going to connect our uh, outlets so it's going to be our name text field and surname text field and uh, the rest text field and also we need to connect our done bar but uh, done button as a uh, outlet so that uh, we can control the background in a code so we say done button outlet okay and let's also do some mark here IP actions and we're going to connect our done button as a action here so it's done button pressed and our cancel button we'll call this cancel button pressed okay and now we can close our assistant editor and open our left panel so the easy part is our cancel button and whenever our user clicks on the cancel button we just want to dismiss so we say self dot dismiss animated true completion nil so this is all our button is going to do and then let's move up and say mark uh, view life cycle and on top we are going to uh, get rid of these empty lines and we are going to import our JEG progress AGT because we are going to show some notifications to our user so say import JG progress AGT and as you remember uh, we need to create a var of our JG AGT say vars so say uh, let AGU AGT is equals to JG progress AGT and we are going to do with a style dot dark so that we have initialized our uh, our JG AGT here then in our view did load function in order for us to be able to set this uh, set this button dynamically we want to check and change every time our uh, text field has some kind of text so whenever user type something here we want to check the status of it and whenever we have all three text fields with some kind of text inside this button should be enabled so in order to find out when our text fields are being uh, edited what we are going to do is to add a target for to our text fields 
So this is going to be happening in our view with uh, did load. And I'm going to say name text field dot add target. And the target is going to be our view. So we say self action is going to be a selector. And this is the function uh, we will call whenever our uh, text field is edited. And I'm going to put into in the parentheses the name of the function. So it's going to be my self view text field did change and this has a underscore so we are passing something here and for the state we are going to say ui control dot event dot editing change so as soon as our uh, text field is being edited this function uh, will be called which is called text field did change right now it gives us an error because this function that we are calling doesn't exist and that's okay we're going to copy this and paste it twice and we're going to rename the text field the other one is going to be a surname text field and finally the address text field so all three text fields are going to call the same function so if uh, we are going to implement the function now and I'm going to do this right after my IB actions and remember we need an at object C in front of the function name let me just copy this it's func and this function is going to take a uh, text field. So that uh, we know which text field is being called. So say UI text let me see where we are, UI text field. So let me just put the print here for now and say uh, text field did change. And if we run our application, and let me just open my console here, delete everything from inside. If I type something, it says text, text field did change. And if I do it here, we still get the print out. So everything is working. And in our next lecture, we are going to implement the function and automatically based on the text field, we are going to change our background of the button.